Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sav, if you're new. We are continuing Legacy today. I'm super excited because this is a very like uh, busy time. We are moving on and starting to have more kids. I can't even believe it. It's just going by so fast because we've been playing this so much. But you know, I like it. That's what this challenge is all about, is creating a legacy. <laughs> I just want to thank you guys so much for all the sweet comments on my last video. I just sat there and cried reading all of them. So many of you know what I'm going through and uh, yeah, it's just comforting. So thank you so, so much. Y'all are really, really sweet. I am feeling much better today. I tested negative on, I think it was on Saturday, Friday or Saturday. I can't remember which day that I tested, but yeah. Um, tested negative and I'm feeling better. I just have like a little bit of lingering like congestion and cough, but I'm sure that'll go away with time. I hope. Fingers crossed. <laughs> but yes, I absolutely love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get into today's episode. I hope you guys like my pumpkin in my background. I decorated for Halloween over the weekend. I kind of want to put more. I kind of want to put some like in this little area, some more pumpkins over here. <laughs> Who knows? I just want to put light up pumpkins everywhere. I think that would look really cute. All right, guys, here we are back in the compost household. So excited to be back. It is day 12 of 14 in spring, so it's almost summer. I noticed in the last episode when we were, where were we at? When we were out at the outdoor restaurant, it was snowing and I was like, what the hell? I didn't even notice until I was editing. And I was like, why is it snowing in the middle of spring? I don't know, is that normal? <laughs> anyway, so Sarah is working from home today. She has to give love advice and watch telenovela TV channel for two hours. So I'm gonna get her to get on that real quick. Also, uh, so Ren's off to work right now. One of you guys said that the secret agent career has a secret promotion. So I'm not gonna get her to uh, get a new job until we get to level 11. I think that's really freaking cool. I'm really excited to see what it is. So thank you so much for that comment. I'm glad we didn't switch jobs for her in the last episode. <laughs> um, all right, yeah, so she's at work. She's working hard. Edison is feeling very flirty and he's chatting. Who are you chatting with? And he's always off to clean up the manure. And Eloise hasn't hit us up. She never texts us, like ever. It makes me sad. I want someone who's like absolutely in love with us. I mean, they have amazing compatibility and he is attracted to her. Oh, I just don't know. He's also attracted to Jade and they have amazing compatibility too, but I really don't think that he would, given his age, I don't think he would keep exploring. I think like he would be like happy with Eloise, just like happy to have someone to like spend the rest of his days with. Um. Let's see, let's look at the calendar. So we got Love Day tomorrow, and then we've got Edison's birthday and Sarah's birthday the next day. So I think what we'll do is we'll have a joint party, like I said, on Saturday. I have no idea what we should do. I don't know if we should just like have something like intimate at the house or if we should go out to dinner. I rarely ever go out to dinner for birthdays because of how buggy dine out is, but we can give it a shot and see how well it goes. <laughs> I think once you get older, going out to dinner for your birthday is kind of just like, it's just what you do. It's just classic. Or you have a party at home. So how is her romance skill going anyways? What is it at? Oh my god, she's almost maxed it, you guys. I'm gonna get Edison to start a gathering um, just to get that bonus boost. And then, yes, please, you need to keep watching it, my girl. You're not done yet. They both want to clean up the manure so bad. Like, we have a ranch hand for that. I can't wait to, ha like, retire with Sarah and just have her and whoever, like, she ends up with just, like, live in the cute farm life. <laughs> I do want to explore the animals more. I don't, I haven't really. Ooh. Ren starts a crime map that Ren's piece together thanks to her rigorous undercover work. Red strings tie together a network of thugs. It's the culmination of her time spent infiltrating an international crime ring. Taking down this organization would be the crowning achievement of her career. Allowing her to blow her cover and take an early retirement, she thinks 
Ren's gathered enough evidence, but you can never be too careful with an operation of this scale. What will Ren do? Execute an arrest warrant. Ren will retire from her job and gain fame and reputation or continue gathering evidence. I want... I want that last promotion, so I'm gonna continue gathering evidence. I forget what star celebrity she is. Is she five star? Oh no. Dude, I can't. <laughs> I'm looking at Ren's milestones, right? Cause I wanted to see like how many jobs she she has like reached the top of. I don't think that this is everything, but uh, <laughs> I went down to these. She fell in love three times. First one was with Caleb. Second one was with Juan David Lucena. I don't know who that is. I think he's from Silver Dorada. And then the third one is Jamie. <laughs> Come on, dude. There ain't no way you're in love with her. Give me a break. <laughs> Oh man. All right, she needs to give love advice. So I think she should give it to her dad. Um, I love that they're both here, like taking care of the chickens. Ah, shoot, I clicked travel. It's the beery fingers, eh? What are the club, the club thingies right now? Clean, play video games, be funny, play chess and care for animals. Okay, I'm gonna take video games off. I'm gonna take play chess off. Clean, be funny and care for animals. I think that's pretty good, to be honest. Um. Okay, are you gonna give him the love advice or what? Come on, they're so cute. I just realized I still haven't named any of the animals. All right, we're done with our work tasks for the day. So I vote. I think we should go, Edison likes jokes. Okay, yeah. I think we should go on a couple. Oh my God, how long have I been out of focus? I'm sorry. I think we should go on a couple more dates before we decide. Ah, 20 eggs from the coop. We're gonna have so many eggs in the fridge. We should have a, a fridge just dedicated to eggs. Okay, oh, who's calling Edison? Um, go for it, bro. I don't know who Marissa Price is, but go for it. Okay, so actually let's go ahead and like check out Cupid's Corner as well and see what we have. Look at her and her chickens. It's too cute. Okay. Um, I'm looking for a girl in finance. Trust fund, six, five. Blue eyes, unflirty cat lover, music lover, foodie, Mona. Oh, what was the show? Pretty Little Liars, right? <laughs> Silas, cheerful romantic, Neil, ADHD, good. I love how he's advertising his ADHD on his dating profile. I respect that. Outgoing slob. Okay, no. Um, yeah, I'm gonna gonna remove how do I you know trash <laughs> uh Mona music lover and there's a lot of music lovers I feel like every single sim we talk to it's like music lover music lover music lover all right <clears throat> romantic date I don't want it to be gold though um we're gonna go to let's go to this seafood restaurant llama lagoon okay yeah let's do it <laughs> No, it's raining. Okay, I'm gonna fix that. Let's just put Sunny. Okay, so here she is. Jalisa, Jalisa, Morgan. All right, anyway, um, so it looks like, do we already have a little bit of relations with you? Why are you barefoot? Okay, yeah, we do. Um, compliment outfit. <laughs> um, talk about the rain. Dopa Harfin. Yeah. Dopa Harfin. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna snag a table. Um, so this is this is the restaurant here. It's pretty cool. Where shall we sit? Ooh, this is a romantic table right here. Let's request that one. There we go. Nice and sunny now. She's really pretty. Look at that smile. My goodness. Radiant. Oh, she does have shoes on. I really like this host as well. He's awesome. Krishna Joyson. Give me my table. I want my table. Noah. Oh, nice. Good for you. Wep wamp. Use your table. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. Oh, wow. She's already sitting. That was fast. So what are you into? What are your interests? Hobbies? Skills? 
What the hell are you doing, girl? See what's No, sit your ass down. Do 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 They're both on their phones. Come on, dude. They have good compatibility. Don't know about oh let's see. Get some mimosas. it's 6 p.m. already? What the okay, we're getting whiskey showers then. And then see here what to eat not a big fan of this menu maybe we just get some pie <laughs> pie and whiskey sours sure why not we're not that hungry anyway oh okay Let's see ask how date's going so uh, how's the date going tell me honestly sarah may need to pay attention a bit more be sure to complete some date goals attraction you're all right, I guess. I don't think anything is particularly wrong with you, at least. You're all right, I guess? Wow. I mean, that that's not very nice. <laughs> I literally, I would never say that. I would never say that to someone. Turn on, hot pink hair and streetwear. Turn offs, black hair, blonde hair, turquoise hair, and red clothes. Thank you, thank you for our pie. Garza. Stronger quiz, dense doba, triple, huh? Chunga choosing. I need to learn her third trait as well. I don't think we know it. And we also need to share some details. Turn ons, taken sims. Oh no, not the home wrecker. Did you like your pie? She's a waiter and she's clumsy. Okay, the date is over. I don't know, guys. I'm not getting the spark. No! Okay, we're out. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Bye. Okay, let's go on another blind date, shall we? Oh my goodness. That was pretty horrible. All right, this time we're gonna go to... Let's go to this lounge. This little cocktail lounge. Okay. Oh, thank God it's a girl. All right. Uh... No way. This is family. This is this is literally family. Help! Help me! Why? Hold on a second. Oh, I think it's because she's Felix's daughter. And uh, Felix is not on the family tree anymore for some reason. He just disappeared and I, I don't know why. But yeah, her name her last name is literally Compos. So we already know. Gosh darn, that's so messed up. I got excited. I got so excited. Who's this? Jeanette Robles? Hmm. All right. Sorry, I'm gonna have to end this. I'm really sorry. <clears throat> Do it again. Do we wanna have it at this venue? I didn't even get to look at it. Yeah, it's fine. Easier. It's easier this way. What? This guy that was already here is our blind date. Marcelo Fires. No, no. Why is it giving me people that are already on the lot? Come on. Give me someone different. Who's this? Marielle. Marielle Vickers. She's pretty. Dude! This was our waiter at the restaurant that we were just at. And now he's our date? I can't. Can I please get someone new? She's really cute though. Congrats on your graduation. Who is this? Michaela, Michaela Vanilla. Uh, she's really pretty too. Anyway, Leighton Kraus. This was our waiter at the restaurant we were just at. I need to change my Cupid's Corner preferences to girly pops only. Good compatibility. We got good compatibility with Marielle. Oh, this is Elizabeth. This is what uh, Ophelia's daughter. Oh, I already have it set up. What the heck? No! Why? How come everyone that we're freaking interested in goes streaking? Is that a glitch or something? I'm not into it. I'm not into it. Ooh, alien babe? Ashley Bonilla. All right, who's it this time? Who's our date this time? Not the raging werewolf asking for an autograph. Oh my God. Who's this? 
Dude, is this the same guy? Oh. It is! Stop giving me the same dude! Instantly unattracted. <sighs> Who's that? Madison Avery. God, she's everywhere. She's introducing herself. Okay, we're ending that date. <gasps> oh my god, there's Triss! What are you doing here? <gasps> oh my god, guys, Evangeline and Jamie are having a baby. Finally! <sighs> it's about damn time. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait. What's going on? Why can't you say hi to her? Okay, I'm gonna cheat her bladder. I don't have time for her to go pee right now. Hi, Tris, you look great. Dang, this werewolf is freaking out about this celebrity here. Um, I want to like, I want to ask her. Emotionally connect? No, I want to ask her how she feels about us. Learn more. Ask for attraction level. Do you, do you think we're pretty? Who's this? Oh my god, she's freaking adorable. Yuna Cortez. Let's introduce ourselves. Wait, I'm flattered, but I am not interested in that type of relationship with you. I would be happy if you would like to be friends. Wait, why? Are you are you straight? Is that why? She's so beautiful though. Why? Why you no like us? Oh my god, okay. She's not she's not feeling us. Evangeline's here. Oh my god, I kinda wanna see what she's having. <clears throat> One male baby. That is so fun. I'm gonna do one more blind date. Who's that? Oh, it looks like she might be an elder. Is she? Oh, she's not. Ariana do. Oh, but she's married. She is absolutely married. <laughs> um, okay. <clears throat> Dude, are you serious? Stop giving me the same freaking people. Please. Like, this. these blind dates are so broken. I'm actually really upset. I'm about to deactivate Cupid's Corner because this is BS. Okay, we can refresh our matches now. Let's see if there's any good ones. Caitlyn, outgoing, nosy. Sims who thrive on gossip, snooping, and spying. They have incredibly poor boundaries and don't quite understand what personal space is. Ooh. N Nelle? Nelle? Cheerful and geek? I like her. Adrian, loves outdoors, kleptomaniac. Oh. Okay, sure, why not? Chelsea, art lover and kleptomaniac. Dude, okay, fine. Um, all right, let's see. Take her off. Kind of interested in Adrian. If so, like you get a point in legacy for every um, spouse that you bring in that has like a unique trait. So loves outdoors and kleptomaniac. That would be um those would be, that would be two points because we've never had a spouse with those traits before. At least I don't think. That's why like I love Nelly, but cheerful and geek we've had so many times. Um, Chelsea also has some unique traits as well, but I'm going to do Adrian first. Adrian didn't pick up the phone. Some Sims need sleep. Sleep. Oh, they have amazing compatibility already. What? Okay. Okay, well, let's go home and wait until a respectable hour to uh, hit that girl up to go on a date. He is feeling flirty and chatting again. Every time I come to him, he's always online chatting with someone. I wonder who it is. Wait, why is Ren acquiring the romance skill? What is she up to? Oh, she's just watching romantic TV. Okay. Okay. So the skill that we were working on for her was nectar making. And we're also still working on the gemology uh, aspiration, which I just can't seem to get going. Plasma nectar? No way, that's so cool. Let's see what it says about this. A gorgeous and understated nectar, vampires possessed of the most sophisticated taste will find this drink is all sweetness, no bite. Non-vampires who drink this will feel sick, even the fancy ones. There, now you know. Let's see. Helps vampire sims feel happy and refreshed. If nectar is at least lightly aged, vampire refreshment greatly increases. A happy feeling persists after nectar wears off. That's amazing. I love that. All right. It looks like Sarah's energy is back up. I'm going to ask homegirl if she wants to go on a date. Uh, 
for like breakfast or something. Oh, that raging werewolf was Lily. The one who was obsessed with uh, that celebrity. All right. So we should go to, um, okay, let's go here. It's another restaurant that I placed in Newcrest that we haven't been to yet. Okay, we're here and we are in our gown. Wow, she's really pretty. Adrian Pleasant, heartfelt compliment. Let's let her know. Let's let her know that we think that she's beautiful. Nice back hair, my guy. I really like it. Give love day gift? Should we give her Lily or something? Thanks for coming out with me on Valentine's Day. I hope you like this flower. Oh, she didn't like it. Okay, perfect. Um. <laughs> Ooh, this restaurant. This is quite nice. I like this. Not Mona being here and singing again. I think it's because she's a music lover. I'm actually not sure. <laughs> Table for two, please. Ooh. Wait, is that our date? You changed? Why is that? Huh, whatever. That might be her formal wear. Why are you sitting at the bar? That is not your table. Who's that? Who's the bartender? Why do we always fall for the bartenders? Oh my gosh, who is this? Antonia Chen? Damn, girl. I just, I want to introduce ourselves just so we have her in the logs, you know? Hi, nice to meet you. I'll just pretend that she came to our table to get our drink order. <laughs> All right. So it is, oh, we have to get sex on the beach. It's love day or love potion number nine. I guess either one would work, but, um, Savory bacon love petals. Let's get those for us. And then for our girl over there, she can have beef wellington. Sure, beef wellington. I, yeah, it's lunchtime, it's fine. All right, let's get to know you a bit. Oh, Frick is Janae. Oh my God, look at her giving us the eyes over here. I wish we could just like exit her out of the conversation. I just wanted to introduce ourselves, you know, that's it. <gasps> no, not Mona being our waitress. So awkward. Wait, Sarah learned about Adrian's financial status and Adrian is apparently pretty wealthy. She's a goofball. Aww. I love that. Delso. Ask for attraction level. Do you think we're pretty? She said the same thing. You're all right. It's messed up. Why does no one find us attractive? Klepto goofball that loves the outdoors. Turn ons, career minded sims, arts and crafts skills, health and sports skills, pessimist spirited sims, turn offs, performance skills. Someone's woohooing. I hear the music. Gosh, my sims love to woohoo in public places. Thank you. <gasps> How cute. Look at the <gasps> Look at the Oh my God, that is so adorable. So adorable, I can't. Oh, so, oh my God, no! Are you, okay, oh my gosh. You're looking over there, but you're flirting with her. Oh my goodness. I would like to get to know you as well, if that's at all possible. Is this rude? Yeah, it's rude. I don't know what I'm saying. This is absolutely rude ambitious okay so we know all of antonia's traits now uh ambitious bookworm and active and they have amazing compatibility and then adrian klepto goofball loves the outdoors and they have amazing compatibility as well how are we ever gonna decide how is it already 7 30 oh cute i love that okay i mean i think that went pretty well we met two girls Two girls that could potentially be good matches. Um, I think that we should just, let me open Cupid's Corner one more time. I'm gonna refresh. All right, 
Pearl, a maker and an animal enthusiast. That's actually really, really perfect for what we need. We've got Jade. Okay, we already know her. And our dad has has a, has feelings for her, I think. Elise, erratic and snob. Oh no, no, no. Okay, well, um, Pearl. Hmm. Would you like to hang out, Pearl? Let's go to this restaurant. I built this one a long time ago. I think this is gonna be the last episode where we're gonna go on any dates. Damn it, you guys. I think my game's frozen. Ugh. Horrible timing. I'm gonna have to restart. All right, guys, we're back. And literally none, none of that saved. Every single thing that I did today. <laughs> I'm so mad right now. I am so mad, but it's okay. Luckily, we haven't really been doing anything except for going on dates. Uh -oh. Um, yeah, it'll be okay. It'll be fine. So let me just, <laughs> gosh darn it. We're gonna have to do it all over again. I can't fast forward time. I've been doing, this has been happening a lot lately. I can't fast forward time, but that's okay. At least now I I know I have a little insight on who we need to be talking to and going on dates with. So the uh, the people on Cupid's Corner are completely different than last time, which honestly blows my mind a little bit. I think what we should do instead, I'm gonna we're gonna do a little bit of a travel. I'm gonna travel to the household of some of the sims that you guys made. I think, where is it? I know that the, the bartender girl that we met is one of y'all's sims. So I kind of want to go over to that house. It looks like some of some of you guys' sims are starting to have babies. I want to go over to that house so that we can meet her again. Dang, her and Stacy have a completely full romance bar. That's crazy. Hello, where's everybody at? Huh, why aren't they all standing in front? <laughs> like they usually do. Okay, knock knock, I'm here. Anna Haas. Okay, well, we might as well like introduce ourselves to everybody here. Hello. I kind of want to get her uh, observant. She has so many rewards points. If we just get observant, then we can just learn their traits at, uh, right when they meet. It's only 500 points. Like, yes, I need it. All right, who else is here in this house? Anyone? Is everyone at work or something? Oh, here's another one. This is Brianna Gonzalez. Cheerful introduction as well. Hello! Honka Thori. Romantic, loyal, and outgoing. Very good traits, for sure. Oh, there she is. Hello! Antonia! Oh. Sarah likes hardworking Sims. Yes, sure. Holy cannoli. This Sim is so pretty. I'm obsessed with her. <laughs> Do you find me attractive? Do you find me attractive? Does anyone find me attractive? You're all right, I guess. What is this name? Gupuccino? Um, okay. I actually really like that name. It's just so random. <laughs> anyway, Yasmin. Wait, Brianna. Just kidding. Why did I call her Yasmin? Probably because I was thinking about Jade. Anyway, do you think I'm pretty? You're all right, I guess. How come, do you, how come no one finds this cute? It's actually destroying our self-confidence. Oh, what the? What? Why? Scan the room. Whoa. That's cool. Is that the first time I've done that? What does this mean? Is it going to show up? What are these pulsa- what does the pulsating thing mean? What are you doing? What is this? Woohoo and shower? Should I allow it? I'm going to hold off on the woohooing. 
She clearly likes Brianna. What were Antonia's traits again and how come we do not know them? Unemployed? That's a lie. She's... Oh. Antonia is... Oh. Antonia is now unattracted to us. Okay. Let's ask Brianna. Let's ask Brianna what she likes. Ask about personality attraction. Wow, I wonder, uh, I wonder what happened. I wonder what changed. What is this house? Why is everyone being romantic with everyone? Is free love on? I'm just trying to find our perfect match, guys. I want Sarah to be happy. I want her to have... I want her to have a healthy relationship with someone that, like, really loves her. They seem to be getting along. All right, so <laughs> the options are Brianna and um, la la la, where is she at? Stacy. So we need to learn Stacy's last trait. And then she's got family oriented, which is the same trait that Lamar has. Lamar had? I think that Brianna's traits. I want to say that those are all new, but I'll have to look at my sims tree. Turn on's affection. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm heading home for now. Let me, uh, let me see if I can look at my sims tree and see all of the traits of our past spouses. Okay. So first gen dog lover, foodie, goofball. That was Carlos's traits. Zara's traits. Cat lover, cheerful, and geek. Orange. Jealous, loves the outdoors and outgoing. Stella. Um, clumsy, creative, and loves the outdoors. Lamar. Family oriented, geek, and ambitious. Teddy. Proper dance machine and music lover. Okay, so romantic, outgoing, and loyal are all three new traits. Oh, wait, no. Orange had, has outgoing. Okay, well, let's go ahead and learn Stacy's last trait, and then we can decide between her and Brianna after that. There she is. All right. Um, hey, girl, I just really, I, I just really want to know your last trait. Like, can you let me know what it is so that I can decide if I want to be with you or not? <laughs> it's so messed up. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh, no, not the bro hug. What was that about? Okay, she has handiness as a skill. I don't want to know your skills. I want to know your trait. Can you please tell me what it is? Oh my God, Edison, why? Why are you attracted to her? Why are you even? Oh, okay, romantic, cheerful, and family oriented. Okay, cheerful. We've had cheerful before. <laughs> Not Edison liking Stacy too. Oh my goodness. All right. Gosh, this is gonna be hard. How am I gonna, how do I choose? How do I choose? Turn ons, wealthy, highly skilled. Turn ons, egotistical. Ask for attraction level. We haven't asked her yet. Edison, no. Stay away. Go away. Oh my god. Get out of here. He's like, hey, honey, who's your friend? <laughs> Get out of here, dad. Go. Oh my god, he's embarrassing me. Is he coming back? Dad, please! This is getting messy, guys. You're all right, I guess. All righty. <sighs> wow. He really likes Stacy too. What are you scared of? What are they talking about from Paranoid Trait? Oh my gosh. Take a panicked poop? Oh my god. <laughs> That's so funny. I didn't know you could do that. Oh man. Well, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna wait a little bit. See what happens between them two. Today, well, tomorrow technically, is love day. Thank god Evangeline and Jamie are having a baby still. I'm gonna save because I'm scared of losing my progress again. 
Bye, Stacy. Thank you for coming over. All right. Well, she's feeling super flirty, so uh, it's almost Sarah's birthday. I know, I know. Fire? Where is there a fire and why? Oh my God. You, you making the distressing concoction. Well, thank goodness I have uh, sprinklers right here. <laughs> Man, now everyone's gonna be stressed though. How did the fire travel in the, whatever. Ugh. Thanks for stressing everyone out. I really appreciate it. Yeah, let's drink this de-stressing concoction. That might make you feel better. Anyway, as I was saying, Ren, you need to keep making your nectar. I want you to max this, please. And Sarah, how are you doing? Just hungry? I don't know what to do for love day. <clears throat> what we did last time before my game freaking froze was that we spent all day with Sarah. I don't know. I don't know what we should do this time around. Maybe we should go on a proper date with uh, Brianna. We haven't done that yet. So let me see. Let's see how that goes. This whole episode is just dating. <laughs> Sorry guys, but I need to find someone. Okay, let's go to this restaurant in Willow Creek. All right, this restaurant is it's a little more laid back than the other ones that we've been going to. But I ooh, there's some outdoor seating. Okay, yes, let's go sit over there. Oh, she's wearing her lovely Tom Tomarang outfit. Who's this? Kira O'Neill. You're beautiful, Kira. But I need to stop. I need to stop with the wandering eyes. I've got it narrowed down to two. We're gonna keep it that way. Are we hungry? I don't know. I can't tell. I'm just gonna get a couple of root beer floats for us for now. So, Brianna, how's it going? Tell funny story. Hi, Reagan Fires. Why are all the fire sims, like, so strikingly beautiful? I swear. That family has some good genes, apparently. Sing it, girl. Ask about career. Oh, thank you for our Ruby Floats. Thank you. She's a chef. That's cute. I like that. Okay, I'm gonna get them to have their first kiss as well. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm having hard. I'm probably just gonna end up putting them on a wheel and spinning it. I like them both. Although, she does have amazing compatibility with Brianna and good compatibility with Stacy. That could be the edge. Lovingly dip kiss? What's that? That could be the edge that Brianna has. Oh my god, wow. Smooth. So smooth. Wait, they're not going to woohoo again, are they? What the? Where'd they go? What happened? Whoa. Oh man, my poor girl. She has a kid! She has a kid! Oh my goodness. I guess that doesn't really matter, but does Stacy have any? No, she doesn't. All right, guys, I'm going to put these two on a wheel and that is how we're going to decide who we want to be with. Because I can't decide. I really can't. All right, here we got the wheel. Are you ready to spin it, Brianna and Stacy? Here we go! This is so, this is like the most unromantic thing I've ever done. <laughs> Stacy it is, okay. <clears throat> All right, Stacy. It looks like, looks like you're gonna be the one 
Um, I will pay for your root beer float though, Brianna. Don't worry about that. It's kind of gonna be a, oh, she's asking us on a date as well. Aw, yes, 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 I do. I actually, uh, I was just about to call you. <laughs> oh shoot, sorry, that was the wrong, wrong screen. I was just about to call you. I have made a, a decision that I want to spend the rest of my life with you and I hope that you feel the same way. Mm -hmm. mm. That was actually really cute that she's asking us on a date. I don't know what it is, but I feel like every time we like, we left, what? I did pay my bill. Every time we, oh, our mom is here. Oh Lord. Yeah, every time we try to like, build a relationship with someone they never what is goose the heck does that mean they never hit us up we always have to like ask them on a date <gasps> she just stuck her finger up her butt oh my god help me <gasps> what what the heck sarah I didn't even tell her to do it. She just autonomously asked Stacy to be her girlfriend. Oh my God, Sarah's asking Stacy to be romantic partners. Yo, okay, I guess Sarah is deciding for us. I mean, I was gonna do it anyway, but propose early, fame. I kind of want to see what they're what they're they're doing autonomously. <clears throat> Tell a joke about ducks. Okay. Um, let's give her a love day gift. <laughs> um, let's see. A ring? A frog? A mysterious basket? A tassel? A fish? Hmm. A shell? A moonstone? Hmm. I don't know, the last time we tried to give someone a flower, they didn't like it. A hatchable egg, perhaps? I wonder if she would like that. Let's give her this hoop rainbow that we that we cross-stitched. We have to give flowers, though, so I'm gonna give her a flower, too. Do you like it? Okay, I think she liked it. And I'm also gonna give her a crocus. Wait, I wanna give you a flower. Come back. I remember this lot. I think we owned this lot at one point, but I <laughs> didn't end up liking it. Oh yeah, because it was a restaurant. Aww. I got buy members now. Okay, did you give her the flower? Come on, you gotta give her a flower for love day. Gosh darn it. Why won't you listen to me? There you go. Oh, that's such a beautiful flower. She didn't like it though. I wonder if you can like buy a bouquet at uh, like the wedding the wedding world, you know how you can buy a bouquet for a wedding? I wonder if you could buy a bouquet and gift it. That would actually be really cute. Okay, I'm just having them play a little bit of games together because she did ask us on a date here, so get a nice screenshot. All right, well, let us go home. Actually, the date's almost over. Okay, it's fine. I'll wait until, it, until the time runs out. She's gonna go get some popcorn. Isn't is that popcorn? Is it spoiled though? No, it looks fine. Okay. All right. Well, congratulations to um, the the community member that made Stacy. Sarah loves her so much. So thank you so much for making them for me. To the community member that made. Thanks for the great date. Talk to you soon. Cute. Um, so to the community member that made Stacy. Um, would you be opposed to me um, putting some some custom content on her, like outfits and things like that? Let me know. But if you want me to keep her the way that she is, I, I am completely okay with that as well. Just let me know in the comments. Oh, hold up. Wait. I don't think we've done the snow globe collection yet, have we? Okay, that one's new. Wow, it's popping. Oh, is there a festival going on? Dude, nice. Check this out. Bush. That's it. Nothing special about it. It's just a bush. Should we talk to our mom? How are you doing, mom? Where's your husband? Why aren't you... Why aren't you hanging out with him? She's in a terrible mood right now. 
It's love day. Why aren't you with your husband? Who is that? Emily Martinez. Wow. You are a vibe and a half, Emily. I will not lie. Also, what are you wearing? What is this outfit? Ask about another sim. Wow, I don't know your husband, so I can't ask about him. That's crazy. Argue about politics. Oh, no. Please, why aren't you with your husband on love day? I really want to know. All right. Well, she's really tired, so let's go ahead and go home. I can't believe all we did, all I've done for the past two hours is go on dates. <laughs> I really wanted to celebrate their birthdays today, but I'm wondering if we should wait until the next episode. Here's Edison chatting at his computer once again. Oh man, maybe we should like... Oh, well, love day's over. Yikes. And it's Edison's birthday today. Okay. So I think what we'll do is I'm going to wait until next episode to, to celebrate their birthdays. We'll go out to dinner. We'll have a nice meal. Should we move in, Stacy, before we get married? Or should we get married and then move her in? I'm honestly open for both. I really, really hope that um, Edison is not going to be a problem with Stacy. Oh, we do need to give Stacy the potion. Yeah, so we should probably, uh, we should probably move her in first so that she doesn't age up. A lot of you guys are feeling really bad for Edison too. And honestly, I understand. He's like Ren and Sarah are just so busy and he, he's, he doesn't have a job. He's not really working on maxing any skills right now. So he's kind of just like, floating around. What do you guys think? Should we move Eloise in too? So that him and her can live the rest of their days together? If we do that, it'll be Edison and Eloise, Sarah and Stacy. Oh my god, two E's and two S's. That's so cute. And Ren. So two couples and Ren. And Edison and Eloise won't be uh, around for that, for that long. It'll definitely be a packed household, but I don't know. My sims might be happier. I would love to know what you guys think. <gasps> oh my God. Okay, I was just down here doing some artifact authenticating <laughs> and I randomly get this pop up. It's happening. Stacy is so utterly smitten with Sarah that she is proposing marriage. Wow. Okay. Yeah, yes, of course. Of course we're gonna say yes, but but hold on a second. Hang on. When when did Stacy even get here? Where is she at? Lifestyle at risk. Sarah is losing her single and limited lifestyle. Okay, that's fine. Wait, she's proposing from all the way over here? Sarah just got engaged to Stacy. Okay, they're not even in the same room together, so that was very that was so anticlimactic. I hate that. Ah. Become best friends. Yeah, we might as well do that too. Don't be jealous, Edison. Don't be mad. I can't believe it. I can't believe we're engaged. Holy crap. Hold on. I need to see. So she has two days left as an adult. <laughs> we should probably just move her in now, guys. I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie. Right? It only makes sense. Ask to join household. Yes. Wow, this is a... Uh, we're moving pretty fast, guys. We're moving pretty fast. But, you know, like I said, we need to get going on this aspiration. And... What? Why didn't this work? I want to do this properly because I want... I want all of the money that she's got to. I mean, might as well, right? Okay. She's got 30000 so we might as well take it. All right, welcome to the family, Stacy. Okay, let's have a look at you. Now that you are part of the family, let us see. How are your skills? You have no skills. You don't have a job. You, your highest relationships are with dogs and our father, and you are attracted to him. Okay, well, that's going to be a problem. <laughs> let's see what else. You've got 
the gift that we gave you and some earbuds. Um, you're family oriented, cheerful, frugal, incredibly friendly, romantic, steel bladder, role model, and domestic. Okay, cool. You got like a decent amount of traits and your aspiration is big, happy family. Okay, that's pretty cute to be honest. All right, so I think that, is it Ren that has all the potions or is it Edison? I think it's probably Ed Edison, but I know that we have a potion that resets their current life, like the days on their current lifespan. Oh, a potion to allow a Sim to remain at their current age. Yeah, I think that that means that it like resets. All right, let's see if that works. It is called the Potion of Rejuvenation, and this one was made by Stella, of course. All right, let's go ahead and drink this and see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't go wrong. They're both very satisfied in their relationship. While in this state, their romantic relationship will slowly increase over time automatically. I mean, it can't get any higher, but that's amazing. She's so happy that she's, she's freshly engaged. Oh, why did you go in the bathroom to take that? Uh-oh. Why didn't that work? Hello? Days until age up zero. No! Okay, luckily we have more. I, I'm i so confused why that didn't work. Try it again. Okay, that one worked. Oh, Ingao. Hello? Why didn't it work? Why is her bar still full? Oh, there we go. Okay, I was like, good grief. All right, so her and Sarah are... Uh, gonna be the exact same age. That's pretty cool. So they will... I think they'll die on the same day as well. I think that's how that works. Okay, so we have so much to do in the next one. I'm actually really stoked about it. So we're gonna go out to dinner for Sarah and Edison's birthdays, get them all aged up, and then we're gonna start um, planning their wedding. I want their wedding to be really good. I want it to be perfect. So we're going to do like all the things. We're going to do like the rehearsal dinner, uh, the bachelorette party, uh, all of that jazz. We're going to do everything that came with the, the wedding stories pack. <laughs> and then we're going to have the most beautiful wedding ever. And hopefully by that time, Sarah will have uh, maxed her career. She's level seven right now. So we need three more promotions um and then we can get started on having kids yeah our first task for our aspiration is to become a parent so exciting make sure to leave me comments let me know what you think about moving in eloise into the household as well let me know what kind of wedding we should have like what theme what, where we should have it a barn a church outside i don't know let me know i'm so excited though we're really moving along <laughs> I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. As always, leave me comments, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!